the first thing you should know about uh, the leg is that first of all you should have the same number of stitches on both uh, the leg openings and also the same length so i have about 15 centimeters in length of course in order to be uh, sure i'm going to count the number of my rounds and in order to count the number of my rounds i am going to count the number of the v's so i have 30 rounds and the number of my stitches goes like this if you remember when i was at this point uh, where i had knitted the length uh, from the neck of the dog to the front leg i kept these uh, stitches in white color for the, the leg opening and um, the number of my stitches was 14 because i am going to uh, use the stitches from this round and from that round that means that i'm going to have double the loops let's say of the stitches in white so i'm going to have 28 stitches and also i'm going to add uh, four stitches uh, from this side and three stitches from that side in order to create the shape of the dog's leg so the total number of stitches would be 35 stitches but please as i said uh, always have the same number of stitches on both legs the first thing i need to do is to cut the scrap yarn and slip my stitches on a needle uh, there are several ways to do it for example you can use this kind of needle first and then slip your stitches into the regular needle i'm going to use thinner circular needles in order to slip my stitches and then i'm going to uh, transfer them into the, the needles that I used for the rest of the sweater and also I'm going to use a hook to pull up uh, loops for the sides uh, of the leg opening because as I said I'm going to pull up four uh, loops from here uh, and three loops from the other side because I need a odd number in order to create um, my rib stitch. So I need to have an, an odd number. So 35 stitches. The first thing we will do is to cut this scrap yarn. I have created a knot for this scrap yarn. You should be very careful when you do this because you might slip the stitches. Of course, don't worry, even if you do, there is a way to, to save things. But if there is a way to do it more easily, why complicate things? So as you can see here i have two stitches can you see these two stitches i'm going to slip the needle first like this and then i'm going to pull out the scrap yarn so in this way i'm not going to have any losses and here again I have two stitches so I'm going to do the same of course you can do it any way it's easier for you to do it again here one I 
I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Of course, I don't do it so slowly when I do it by myself. Again, here I can insert my needles. and pull out the yarn and the same on the other side be careful not to grab the same stitch twice uh, but uh, of course when we finish doing this uh, we are going to count our stitches so again i'm going to pull up pull out the yarn from here insert the stitch in my needle on this needle and on i'm going to insert the stitch on my needle Now I'm going to insert my needle on this side. Every time you look where the um, tail of the scrap yarn. Here I have one stitch. So I can insert when the tail is about to um, go out of the uh, stitch, you insert the needle. So you don't slip the stitch. And I will go on this way until I, I do the same for all the stitches. I, until I slip all my stitches on these needles. If you um, keep an eye on the scrap yarn, it's easy to know where you are. So here I need to 
insert my needle here here we inserted it and here I have slid on all my stitches into this pair of circular needles. Let me check the number of my stitch. There must be 14 stitches on each side. So I have 14 here and 14 here. Now I'm going to turn like this. So as you can see, this is the opening where I'm going to create uh, the leg. I'm going to start by pulling up stitches here at the side of, um, be I mean before the stitches that I have uh, on my needles so the first thing that i'm going to do is to pull up loops here in order to create the extra stitches for the leg in order to pull up the loops for the side i'm going to leave a long tail which i'm going to place here into the opening and now i am going to take my crochet hook and try to find the place to insert it where I won't create a big hole in my knitting fabric when I pull up um, uh, this loop for my stitch don't pull too hard or support uh, the tail of the yarn with the your uh, index otherwise it will um, come up so like this i'm going to insert my hook and pull up one more loop here like this so now I have created my three extra stitches let's say actually they are still loops and now I am going to knit uh, the 14 stitches uh, which um, were on the scrap yarn I am going to knit them I'm going to use knit stitches for my first round and then I'm going to start 
knitting uh, the rib stitch for the leg opening so now I have knitted the 14 stitches that uh, I'm going to use uh, for the leg opening to create uh, the leg opening so now I have the 14 stitches which uh, belong to, to, to the leg opening uh, plus three extra loops or stitches that I created by pulling up stitches on this side and now I am going to pull up stitches on the other side of uh, the leg opening I've split the cable between my stitches so it will be easier for me to knit and now I will use uh, the crochet hook again in order to create uh, my new stitches or my new loops here instead of using working yarn to create my first loop I am going to use this strand of yarn this bar of yarn which is between my stitches because this creates a big hole and the good way to cover it is to insert my hook like this pull up the yarn and create a new stitch and uh, because the same is uh, here I'm going to do the same thing here as well for my next loop or stitch I'm going to insert my hook here and here and create another loop I'm going to create one more stitch I check which is the best possible way to create a, a new loop so here I can just do this and I have one more uh, stitch to create which I am going to create here here like this so now here I have added four new extra stitches and I'm going to slip these four extra stitches into the left needle because I need to knit them now my working yarn is on my right hand I'm wrapping the yarn around my neck and I can knit these new stitches and now I've reached the stitches that were on my scrap yarn I'm knitting them as well by the way when you place the, your stitches onto the needles sometimes the direction of the stitch is not uh, good uh, like this one as you can see so I need to slip it off the needle and turn it around because for knit stitches this strand should be like slanted to the left and now I can knit it so please always check the direction of your stitches this one as well is like this so I have to turn it and this one and this one
and this one as well so I'm turning it look when uh, your uh, uh, stitch is like this you you change uh, the direction but now I'm here uh, this is the other side of uh, the opening and here I have created uh, new stitches the three new stitches I created the new new stitches because I wanted to have 35 stitches in total I need an odd number in order to get the rib stitch here I have to change the direction of my stitch again and here and I think now I've reached let me see yes after these stages might a bit difficult to work with this circular needle because the the cable is not very long but anyway after let me change the direction of the stitch again so I'm changing this direction and now I have reached the extra stitches of this side now I'm going to change my knitting needle uh, as I said I used this needle just to um, create my extra stitches and uh, knit the first round now I'm going to use uh, the circular needles I used for knitting uh, all the sweater please support uh, the tail uh, of the yarn between uh, your um, index and your middle finger and start knitting first you're going to knit this first one this is uh, going to be a bit uh, loose but uh, don't worry we'll fix it later and now I am going to create my rib stitch so I knitted one and now I'm going to purl one I'm going to knit one and I'm going to purl one I'm going to knit one and purl one and I'm going to knit uh, my rib stitch as many rounds I prefer for this uh, for the leg M please make sure that uh, you remember or you write down the number of uh, rounds you've uh, knitted for one leg because you have to knit the same number for the other leg also you don't have to change uh, your needles you could have uh, pulled up uh, your extra stitches on the needle you used for knitting the sweater I just did so because it was easier for me but of course uh, you can do it uh, with the same pair of needles and also there are lots of other ways to pull up your uh, stitches if you find this difficult now I'm going to knit the, my rib stitch until I reach uh, the length I have for the other um, leg and then I will meet you and tell you how to bind off of course before binding off we also have to uh, knit two rows of this elastic rib stitch so I have finished my rounds for the leg I have counted them and they are the same as in the other leg also the centimeters are the same there is another technique that you can knit both uh, legs uh, at once and this will give you a better result which I will show you in another tutorial 
and now I'm ready to knit the last two rounds with this uh, extra elasticity so what I will do is that I will knit the knit uh, stitches but I will just slip the purl stitches to the working needle and I will do the same for all the stitches of the round and then I will um, knit the next round which is the opposite but I'll show you how to do it on the next round so please uh, knit uh, this round and I'll meet you then I have finished the round this is the last pearl stitch of the round which I am going to pearl because now I'm going to work in the opposite way I am going to uh, slip the knit stitches on uh, the needle on the right needle and knit the pearl stitches so so I knitted the pearl stitch and now I'm going to place the yarn behind the working needle um, slip the knit stitch uh, into the right needle and knit the purl stitch so and i will do this until i reach the end of the round uh, when i finish this round I will bind off my stitches and uh, the last thing to do is to weave in the ends of the sweater. And I have finished my very last round of uh, the leg. Now I am going to cut off the yarn uh, twice the length of uh, the size of uh, the um, leg. And I am going to thread a tapestry needle and bind off my stitches you know by now how to do it i've done it uh, in other parts of the sweater so uh, i will start from the left side first i'm going to insert my needle pairwise uh, into both stitches then i'm going to insert the needle knitwise into the first stitch and slip that first stitch from the needle and i'll continue all the way until I've um, finished with all my stitches and in this way I secure my project so please do this and then the only thing to do is to within your ends I have finished binding off the stitches of the, the leg opening now what I need to do is to weave in the ends uh, I, there are several tails that um, I, I need to weave in uh, the best thing to do is to turn the sweater inside out this will make it easier for you to weave in in the ends please find all the tails and weave them in uh, I'm going to use a tapestry needle again but you can also use a crochet hook and you can weave in the ends any way you prefer just make sure that you do it in different directions like this and try not to pull very hard because in that way uh, your stitches uh, will lose their elasticity so you can do it a few times like this and then you can stretch it a little bit and now you can cut off the yarn so please weave in all your ends and I'll meet you then so this is the way we can knit this um, uh, dog sweater i hope you liked my tutorial if you did uh, please leave a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel i will upload more videos on dog sweaters uh, thanks for